Did you know that beyond the glitz, fame and unparalleled performances, many actors have faced life-threatening situations, gruelling injuries and personal battles that test their worth? These stars have faced real-life challenges that could rival any script Hollywood could throw at them. Here we have the list of 15 actors who almost died while filming their movies. At number one, we have the famous ice princess, Kate Winslet. Would you believe me if I told you that Kate Winslet, the female protagonist in Titanic, almost drowned during the filming? Shocking? I know. That would have been ironic and tragic considering her character famously survived the ship's sinking, while her co-star Leonardo DiCaprio did not. But let me take you on a wild ride through the icy waters of Titanic and the series of unfortunate events that put Kate in some seriously dangerous situations. First up, let's talk about that infamous scene where the ship is flooding. As Kate and Leo's characters scramble to escape the rising water, Kate's heavy coat got snagged on a metal gate. Suddenly, she found herself submerged in water, struggling to free herself from the grip of her costume. I had to shimmy out of the coat to get free, she recalled. Thankfully, she managed to wriggle free just in time. But here's where it gets even crazier. Director James Cameron didn't even let her catch her breath before saying, OK, let's go again. Talk about dedication, or maybe just a touch of insanity. Now, if that wasn't enough excitement for one shoot, as if dodging near drowning and injuries weren't enough, Kate also battled hypothermia and the flu during filming. Yes, you heard that right. The water they were using for those dramatic scenes was so cold that it could have frozen your heart faster than Jack could say, I'm king of the world. It's hard to imagine how she managed to look so glamorous while feeling like an ice cube. In one particular scene where Rose and Jack are flailing around after the ship sinks, Kate is weighted down 12 feet underwater for her close-up shots. Looking back, I can't believe I allowed that to be done to me, she admitted. After three takes of nearly inhaling water instead of air, she finally said enough was enough. I simply said I couldn't do it anymore, she declared. Who knew making movie history could be so perilous? Coming next is none other than our very own stunt master, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is a name synonymous with thrilling stunts and unforgettable action sequences. But behind the dazzling performances lies a story of near tragedy. The incident that stands out in his career occurred while filming Armor of God in 1986, a moment that nearly cost him his life. During this shoot in Yugoslavia, Jackie was set to perform a stunt that seemed straightforward, jump onto a tree branch from a ledge. That didn't sound so hard right? After nailing the jump perfectly on the first try, he felt the urge to do it again, believing he could make it even better. Unfortunately, on the second attempt, the branch broke, sending him plummeting about 16 feet to the ground. The impact was brutal. Jackie landed headfirst on a rock and chaos followed. Blood began spurting from his ear as he lay there barely conscious. Rushed to the hospital, Jackie faced a grim diagnosis. He had fractured his skull and a piece of bone had penetrated his brain. As he later recounted, I almost died. The urgency of the situation meant that surgery had to be performed immediately rather than waiting for him to be transferred to a better equipped facility. Thankfully, skilled surgeons were on hand and they successfully removed the bone fragment. Jackie's recovery was anything but easy. He spent about a week in recovery before returning to the set, remarkably quick given the severity of his injury. However, the filming process had to adapt to his condition. The production team rewrote parts of the script to accommodate his absence, resulting in a slower-paced middle section that was way different from the high-energy action fans expected. Despite enduring such a traumatic experience, Jackie's spirit remained unbroken. He was determined to finish what he started and showcase his incredible skills once more. The final act of Armor of God features some of his most impressive fight choreography, proving that his hard work really paid off. In true Jackie Chan fashion, he has found humor in this harrowing experience. He often jokes about how he learned to be more cautious, but admits he still loves performing crazy stunts. It's just part of who he is. Today, Jackie carries some lasting effects from that fateful day. He has permanent hearing loss in one ear and a minor depression in his skull where the injury occurred. So next time you watch one of Jackie Chan's films, remember the man behind those jaw-dropping stunts, someone who has risked it all for entertainment and lived to tell the tale. At number three is the star who survived a lightning strike of fate, Kristen Chenoweth. While filming a scene for The Good Wife in 2012, Kristen experienced a moment that would change her life 
forever. It was a sunny day, and she was excited to shoot outside by the water. Just as they were about to roll the cameras, she heard a sound that made her heart race, a loud crash. A piece of lighting equipment fell from above, striking her in the face with brutal force. In an instant, everything changed. Kristen described the impact as if she had been hit by a truck. The force threw her into a curb, leaving her with severe injuries, a seven-inch skull fracture, hairline fractures, and damage to her teeth and ribs. She later recalled waking up in Bellevue Hospital, confused and scared, with no memory of what had just happened. I literally heard action, and then I woke up in the hospital, she said. The road to recovery was anything but smooth. Kristen faced intense pain and emotional turmoil, as she grappled with the aftermath of such a traumatic event. The injuries left her feeling vulnerable and frightened, both physically and mentally. In her new book, I'm No Philosopher But I Got Thoughts, she opened up about how this incident affected her life and career. She had to undergo physical therapy to regain her strength and cope with lingering pain from her injuries. There were days when simply getting out of bed felt like an insurmountable task. It's not all sad tales in this story, as one surprising twist in Kristen's recovery came from an unexpected source her hair extensions. After the accident, doctors suggested that the extensions might have saved her life by helping to keep the hairline fracture together. So, anyone who wants to get hair extensions should, she quipped humorously during an interview. Making his way into the list is Tom Hank. With regards to dedication in Hollywood, few can rival Tom Hanks. He's not just an actor, he's a force of nature who takes his roles seriously, sometimes to the extreme. One of the most notable examples of this commitment was during the filming of Cast Away, where Hanks took his performance to a level that was almost cast away from reality. To truly embody the character Chuck Noland, a FedEx executive stranded on a deserted island, Hanks underwent a dramatic physical transformation. He lost over 50 pounds, which was no easy feat. Following a strict diet and exercise regimen, he made himself look gaunt and emaciated. Hanks wanted audiences to feel the isolation and desperation of his character, and he succeeded in doing just that. However, this extreme commitment came with its own set of challenges. During the shoot, Hanks developed a nasty staph infection that would test his resilience even further. Initially, he thought it was just a minor skin irritation, a common issue for someone who had been living in the rough conditions of a remote island set. But as time went on, the infection worsened, leading to significant pain and discomfort. Staph infections can be serious, and Hanks was lucky that it didn't escalate into something far worse. Left untreated, such infections can lead to severe complications, including sepsis or even death. Fortunately, Hanks sought medical attention in time and received the necessary treatment. He later described the experience as a wake-up call, reminding him of the importance of health even when fully immersed in his work. Despite these hurdles, Hanks pushed through the pain and continued filming. His colleagues rallied behind him, ensuring that he had everything he needed to recover while still capturing the essence of Chuck Nolan's harrowing journey. The result? Cast Away turned out to be nothing short of spectacular. The film's iconic scenes like Wilson, the volleyball becoming Chuck's only companion, are etched in cinematic history. Hanks' performance not only earned him another Academy Award nomination, but also solidified his status as one of Hollywood's best actors. Rolling in is the man who might just have a beef with horses, Johnny Depp. You'll probably remember him as Captain Jack Sparrow or the quirky Mad Hatter, but after his experience on the set of The Lone Ranger, you might wonder if he secretly harbours a grudge against horses. After all, they seem to have caused him quite a bit of trouble during filming. In The Lone Ranger, Depp took on the role of Tonto, the iconic Native American sidekick to Army Hammer's Lone Ranger. The film was meant to be a thrilling adventure filled with action and humour, but it faced its share of challenges right from the start. It already had many issues with its pacing and script, leading to mixed reviews even before it hit theatres. However, the real tragedies unfolded during production. While filming a scene involving a horse chase, Depp found himself in a horrible situation. One of the horses got spooked and threw its rider, causing chaos on set. Amid this frenzy, Depp was knocked to the ground by another horse. It was a frightening moment that could have ended very badly for him. 
Fortunately, Depp's quick reflexes and experience in action films helped him recover relatively quickly from the incident. But it wasn't just a simple bump. He suffered injuries that left him shaken and in pain. Even with the injuries, Depp continued to work on the film. He was committed to bringing Tonto to life and didn't want to let an accident derail his performance. However, as the film neared its release, it became clear that all the effort might not pay off. The Lone Ranger opened to disappointing box office numbers and critical reviews that highlighted its flaws rather than its strengths. Unfortunately for Depp, his near miss with disaster didn't translate into success for the film, leaving some to question whether he might have preferred a less tumultuous experience, perhaps even one without any horses at all. Let's take a look at Jason Statham, the action star who danced with danger beneath the Black Sea. When you think of Jason Statham, you might picture high-octane car chases, intense fight scenes, and a tough guy persona. But behind that action hero facade lies a story of survival that nearly cost him his life, one that took place at the bottom of the Black Sea. Statham's rise to fame came with its share of risks, but nothing prepared him for the near-fatal incident while filming The Expendables 3. It was a typical day on set in Bulgaria, where the crew was shooting an intense action scene involving a flatbed truck. As Statham's character, Christmas, attempted to escape from villain Stonebank's henchmen, things took a dangerous turn. During a rehearsal for the scene, the brakes on Statham's truck failed. In a terrifying moment, the vehicle plunged off a pier and into the cold waters of the Black Sea. Imagine being in a truck that's suddenly sinking, Statham quickly realized he was in serious trouble. With adrenaline pumping through his veins, he knew he had to act fast. As the truck submerged, Statham managed to escape through an open window. However, just as he thought he was free, panic set in when his gun holster snagged on something inside the vehicle. In that moment of sheer terror, he fought against his instincts to panic and focused on what he had trained for, his skills as a diver. Drawing on his experience as a competitive diver for England at the 1990 Commonwealth Games, he took a deep breath and fought to free himself. With determination and quick thinking, Statham finally wriggled free from his holster and swam to safety. The crew quickly pulled him out of the water, ensuring he was okay. After drying off and changing into fresh clothes, Statham returned to film the rest of the sequence as if nothing had happened. His calm demeanor in such a chaotic situation left everyone in awe. Despite this terrifying brush with death, The Expendables Three Inches turned out to be a thrilling ride for audiences around the world, and I'm sure you loved it too. Here's another actor who cheated death on Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul. Breaking Bad is one movie known for its intense drama, high-stakes situations, and a shocking number of deaths. With all the violence and chaos in the show, it's no wonder that Aaron Paul, who played Jesse Pinkman, had a close encounter with death that could rival anything his character faced. During the filming of the first season in 2008, Aaron Paul found himself in a life-threatening situation that would leave him shaken. While shooting a scene that involved a fight, a rock fell from a nearby trailer's roof, landing precisely where he had stood just moments before. Imagine that moment. One minute you're acting your heart out, and the next, you're narrowly escaping a potentially fatal accident. It was a dramatic reminder of how quickly things can change on set. Aaron's last-minute decision to shoot in a different location was what saved his life. Just before the scene began, he had a feeling something wasn't right and asked if they could move to another spot. That simple decision turned out to be a lifesaver. Had he not made that request, he would have been right in the path of danger when the rock came crashing down. As filming progressed, Aaron's near-death experience became just another chapter in his incredible journey as an actor. He emerged not only as a talented performer, but also as someone who had faced real adversity on set. Next is a maze runner who took a real-life detour, Dylan O'Brien. It all began while filming Maze Runner The Death Cure in March 2016. Dylan was performing a stunt atop a moving vehicle, harnessed and ready for action. But in a split second, everything went wrong. Due to a freak accident, he was thrown from the vehicle and struck by another vehicle. The impact was severe, leaving him with a concussion, facial fractures, and lacerations. It was a terrifying moment that could have ended his career, and worse. 
Imagine being in Dylan's shoes. One moment you're filming an adrenaline pumping scene and the next, you're lying on the ground feeling disoriented and scared. He was rushed to the hospital where doctors worked quickly to assess his injuries. After months of rehabilitation, Dylan was finally ready to return to acting, but with a twist. He had to adjust to life with a plate in his head from the surgery he underwent to fix his facial fractures. It sounds like something out of an action movie itself. However, instead of letting this setback hold him back, Dylan decided to jump right back into the action with his next project, American Assassin. Taking on the role of Mitch Rapp, a CIA black ops recruit seeking revenge for his girlfriend's murder, required intense training and preparation. Dylan had to undergo rigorous combat training that would make anyone apprehensive, especially after what he had just been through. He admitted that after such a harrowing accident, the thought of doing stunts again made him want to run back to his couch. Like who wouldn't? But unlike many of us, he pushed himself to overcome his fears and embrace the challenge. I ultimately decided that I wanted to try it and I didn't want to let it go, he said about taking on the role. On set, everyone was mindful of Dylan's previous injuries. Michael Keaton, who starred alongside him, made sure they choreographed their fight scenes carefully so as not to put Dylan at risk again. We had to be very specific about every move you made, Keaton said, highlighting the extra precautions taken during filming. Luckily for Dylan, he found joy in the training and embraced the opportunity to showcase his skills as an action hero. It's fun to pretend like you can beat up people you could never really beat up in real life, he joked in interviews, and I think I agree with him. Don't you? Do you remember Jennifer Lawrence from The Hunger Games? Let me share with you her own near-death experience in real life. While filming one of the scenes in the 2012 blockbuster The Hunger Games, Jennifer was supposed to sprint through a tunnel filled with fog from a smoke machine. Sounds cool, right? Well, things took a turn when the smoke machine decided to go rogue. Instead of a light mist to set the mood, it pumped out so much smoke that it turned the tunnel into a thick, impenetrable cloud. Suddenly, our girl Katniss was more like, Katniss can't breathe. As the smoke enveloped her, Jennifer realized she was in serious trouble. She couldn't see a thing. It was like being trapped in a giant cotton candy machine, only without the sweet smell and tasty treats. Panic set in as she struggled to find her way out. I thought I was going to die in there she later jokes, adding that it felt like she was auditioning for a horror movie instead of an action film. Well, what exactly saved her from becoming the next unfortunate victim of an overzealous smoke machine? Thankfully, her instincts kicked in. Jennifer remembered that, when in doubt, always follow the light. She spotted a flicker at the end of the tunnel and made a mad dash toward it. With every ounce of strength and determination, she pushed through the thick fog until she finally emerged into the air, gasping and grateful to be alive. The crew quickly rushed to her side, checking if she was okay. I'm fine, just thought I was going to become a human barbecue, she quipped, showcasing her trademark humor even in dire situations. After the incident, Jennifer made sure to keep an eye on those smoke machines. I love special effects, she said with a grin, but let's keep them under control. And who could blame her? After all, there's no need for extra drama when you're already living through intense scenes in The Hunger Games. Now, can I tell you a little something about Viggo Mortensen from The Lord of the Rings? Let's dive a little deeper. While fans were captivated by the epic battles and breathtaking landscapes, many don't know about the behind-the-scenes drama that made filming this iconic trilogy a real challenge for him. You may remember that one infamous scene that has become legendary among fans the moment when Aragorn boots a helmet in frustration, breaking his foot. Newsflash, it was real. That wasn't just acting. Vigo truly felt the pain of that kick. Talk about taking method acting to a whole new level. You can almost hear him muttering, I guess I should have taken up ballet instead. But the challenges didn't stop there. Vigo Mortensen's commitment to his role meant he was often putting himself in harm's way. During filming, he insisted on doing many of his stunts, which is admirable but also risky. From sword fights to horseback riding, he embraced every challenge head on. However, this dedication came with its own set of risks. He once shared that while filming a scene on horseback, he fell off and landed hard. Thankfully, he walked away with just a bruised ego and a story to tell. 
Then there were the grueling conditions they faced while shooting in New Zealand. The weather could be unpredictable and there were times when it was cold. Vigo even battled flu and hypothermia during production. Can you imagine being out in the elements while trying to portray a legendary king? Yet through it all, he maintained his focus and delivered an unforgettable performance. Next is the king of daredevils himself, Tom Cruise. Known for his daring and often jaw-dropping action sequences, he has become synonymous with high-octane thrills. Whether he's hanging off the side of a skyscraper in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol or piloting fighter jets in Top Gun, Cruise's dedication to authenticity is unparalleled. In an action movie, Tom realized he was in serious trouble. His sword was right here, he later recalled, gesturing to the spot just inches from his neck. The crew watching from the sidelines gasped in horror, convinced they were about to witness a real-life tragedy unfold. Thankfully, Hiroyuki's quick reflexes saved the day. He managed to halt his swing just in time, narrowly avoiding what could have been a gruesome accident. Tom Cruise is known for doing his stunts, pushing the limits of what's possible on screen. But this particular moment could have changed everything. Imagine the headlines, Tom Cruise loses head on set. It's a title that would have sent shockwaves through Hollywood. Regardless of this experience, Tom Cruise continued to take on high octane roles and perform daring stunts in films like Mission Impossible. Each time he leaps from buildings or hangs off helicopters, you can't help but think back to that near miss. His infectious charisma and magnetic screen presence, Cruise has captivated audiences worldwide, earning accolades and a reputation as one of the most bankable stars in the film industry. His films have grossed over $5 billion in North America and more than $12 billion globally, solidifying his status as one of the highest grossing actors of all time. Now let's talk about Charlize Theron, the badass queen who took Hollywood by storm. Known for her fierce roles in films like Mad Max, Fury Road and Atomic Blonde, she truly became an action star in her own right. But while filming Aeon Flux, she faced a near-fatal incident that would change her outlook on stunts forever. During one particularly intense scene where Charlize performed acrobatic stunts and fight choreography, she suffered a serious head injury that nearly incapacitated her. She was flipping through the air like a superhero when everything went wrong. In an instant, she hit her head hard enough to leave her reeling. I thought I'd be fine, she later recalled. But then I realized I was seeing stars, literally. The pain didn't just stop there. It lingered long after filming wrapped up. Charlize dealt with long-lasting effects from the injury that made everyday tasks feel like climbing Mount Everest. She described it as being like living with a constant headache. But her warrior spirit refused to let it define her or slow her down. Charlize channeled her energy into recovery and became even more cautious on set. She learned how to listen to her body better and prioritize safety without sacrificing her passion for action films. I realized that I needed to take care of myself, she said with newfound wisdom. Charlize's experience didn't just change her approach to stunts, it also made her an advocate for safety in action films. She had started speaking out about the importance of proper training and safety measures for actors performing dangerous stunts. At number 13 is Michael J. Fox, the beloved star who fought back. Known for his iconic role as Marty McFly in Back to the Future, Michael's charm and charisma made him a household name in the 80s and 90s, but behind that smile lay a story filled with struggle and determination. While filming Back to the Future Part 3, Michael faced a terrifying near-death experience during one of the stunts involving hanging from a rope while riding a horse-drawn wagon. In what should have been an exhilarating scene turned dangerous when things went awry, he was left dangling unconscious at the end of that rope. Thankfully, director Robert Zemeckis noticed something was off and rushed to save him before it turned into a tragic accident. This brush with death was just one chapter in Michael's life story. Shortly after filming wrapped up, he received devastating news. He had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at just 29 years old. The diagnosis shook him to his core and led him down another dark path filled with challenges. Interestingly, Fox was not alone in this struggle. He was one of several cast and crew members from the film Leo and Me, who developed early signs of Parkinson's. While this coincidence raised eyebrows, 
it hasn't been extensively studied to determine if there's any connection. After receiving his diagnosis, Fox initially struggled with denial and profound sadness. For seven years, he worked hard to conceal his condition from the public eye while continuing to take on various film and television projects. During this time, Fox turned to alcohol as a coping mechanism. In the documentary, Still, a Michael J. Fox movie, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, he revealed how he meticulously timed his medication intake to manage his symptoms while performing. I didn't take these pills for comfort or therapy, he explained. My sole purpose was to hide my symptoms. This period of his life was marked by a desperate attempt to maintain his career while battling the progressive effects of Parkinson's. In interviews, Michael opened up about contemplating suicide during this tumultuous time. He felt trapped by his condition and overwhelmed by what lay ahead. But instead of giving up, he chose to fight back against Parkinson's disease with humor and determination. He became an advocate for research funding through his foundation while continuing to act in various projects. Next, Brendan Fraser's near-death experience on The Mummy. While you are captivated by his swashbuckling adventures as Rick O'Connell, behind the scenes, Brendan was grappling with a terrifying incident that could have changed everything. During the filming of The Mummy, Brendan was tasked with performing a hanging scene. That is, he would be temporarily hanged as part of an intense moment in the film. However, things took a dark turn when the stunt coordinator pulled the rope tighter than intended. Brendan found himself standing on his toes with a rope around his neck, struggling to breathe. In a horrifying twist, he accidentally choked himself to sell the scene better. In an interview years later, Brendan recalled the terrifying moment when he passed out. I was standing there and then suddenly everything went black, he said. When he regained consciousness, he was met with a shocking sight, gravel in his teeth and an elbow in his ear. It was a brutal wake-up call that reminded him just how dangerous stunts could be. But this wasn't just a one-off incident. It marked the beginning of a series of physical challenges for Brendan. The toll of performing his stunts in action-packed films like The Mummy and George of the Jungle led to multiple injuries over the years. He pushed himself to the limit, often ignoring warning signs from his body. I wanted to give it my all, he explained but sometimes that meant risking my health. It's important to note that Brendan didn't just have a near real suicide experience on set. He also contemplated taking his life off set. After the success of the Mummy franchise in the early 2000s, he became one of the most sought after actors in Hollywood. However, the pressures of fame took a toll on him. Behind the scenes, he struggled with personal issues that would lead him into a dark abyss. In 2003, he faced a series of unfortunate events, a painful divorce, the death of his mother, and many more multiple injuries from performing his stunts. It was as if life was throwing everything at him at once. Brendan found himself feeling isolated and depressed. The weight of the world was heavy on his shoulders, and he began to question his worth in an industry that seemed to have moved on without him. In interviews, he opened up about contemplating suicide during this dark period. He felt like he was drowning in despair and couldn't see a way out. I thought I'd never work again, he confessed. I was lost. But just when it seemed like all hope was lost, Brendan began to rediscover himself. He took a step back from Hollywood and focused on healing, both physically and mentally. With the support of friends and family, he found solace in acting again. His return to the screen came with the well-known film The Whale, where he portrayed an overweight teacher trying to reconnect with his estranged daughter. It's good to know that he eventually found his solace. Last, but definitely not the least, Dominic Purcell, the survivor from Prison Break. This guy has had his fair share of near-death experiences. While filming for one particular scene involving a stunt gone wrong, Dominic suffered a gruesome injury that would require multiple surgeries. Talk about living on borrowed time. One of his most notable roles is Lincoln Burroughs in the hit series Prison Break, which aired from 2005 to 2009 and returned for a revival in 2017. The show became a cultural phenomenon and Purcell's portrayal of the wrongfully convicted Burroughs, who is determined to escape prison and clear his name. This heartwarming movie really evoked a lot of emotions from fans all over the world. His chemistry with co-star Wentworth Miller added depth to the series, making it a must-watch for fans of suspenseful drama. I'm sure you're aware of all that, but here's something you probably don't know. While performing an intense stunt where he had to jump from 
from one building to another, you know, just your average day on set, Dominic miscalculated his landing and ended up breaking several bones in his body. The injury left him grappling with immense pain and uncertainty about whether he'd ever fully recover. Dominic opened up about how this experience changed him profoundly. After facing such trauma, he admitted feeling like he had been given another chance at life, a second opportunity that not everyone gets. He underwent multiple surgeries over time, but never let fear dictate his future. Instead of letting this setback keep him down, Dominic embraced life with newfound vigor, returning to acting stronger than ever before. He continued working on projects while sharing his story openly with fans. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave the names of your favorite actors and actresses who aren't on this list. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, bye.